is Solarman. Today, I'd like to help you understand how to produce renewable energy using a wind turbine and an electric power generator to generate electricity. Here's how to do it. People generate electricity by means of harnessing wind power, turning a wind turbine, and then use an electricity generator to generate electricity for their own use. How do we generate electricity from motion? We use Faraday's right-hand rule, for which if you have a magnetic field that's pointed in this direction, and you're moving against the magnetic field in this direction, then you would experience an electric field in this direction. How do we use Faraday's law to generate electricity? Now, there is an example on the space shuttle. It's moving through the orbit at a velocity exceeding 8 kilometers per second, and it has a satellite that is tethered to the space shuttle for about four kilometers long. Now, it's moving so fast, the space shuttle, through the Earth magnetic field in this direction. So, it's an electric field that is experienced on the tether. So, along this tether, it would have a negative pole here and a positive pole. And electric uh, electron will flow from here to here. Uh, the electron is absorbed from the atmosphere, the ionosphere, and then come back out and then ejected into uh, the ionosphere uh, through these antennas. Now, instead of the very long tether, you can coil up the tether into solenoids, and there are altogether six solenoids here. Now, I have another way to create electricity by means of a polygon. And in this case here, the polygon is a triangle. We have three triangles here, one, two, and three triangles, for which each triangle would have two Y coming out, corresponding to the uh, negative pole and the positive pole. Now, we can generate electricity by moving magnets over these coils, north pole, south pole, and as it moves into this coil here, the, the magnetic field will produce a current in this direction. A south pole moving out will generate electricity also in this direction, and therefore you can tap the positive pole and the negative pole from this coil. Likewise, you can uh, obtain electricity for in from each of these coils. Now, the way I generate electricity called a polygon electric generator is very different. Instead of having coils, I have polygons, and in this case, the polygon is a triangle, for which I have three triangles, one, two, and three, and each of them would be generating a phase of a three-phase alternating current. Instead of looking at electricity generated by moving magnets over wires, we can have an alternative viewpoint which is proposed by Michael Faraday. Here we have the triangle, and we have three north poles in, inside the triangle. So according to Michael Faraday, there is magnetic field coming out of the uh, north poles into the triangle. So if you look at the total magnetic flux, which is the total amount of magnetism coming out of this triangle, then we call that the total magnetic flux, and as you turn the Rotor, in this case here, you would have included no poles inside this triangle. So the total amount of magnetic flux included in the triangle is a maximum of NNN to a zero flux when none of the poles are inside the triangle with a zero flux. If you turn a little bit further, you have all three south poles inside the triangle. So for one phase, you move from a maximum north pole flux to a zero flux to a maximum of a south pole flux. Now, according to Michael Faraday, he says that the electric voltage that is created in this area, if you have one, the negative pole here and the positive pole here, then the voltage along from this point to this point is equal to the rate of change of the magnetic flux inside the circle. So this corresponds to a maximum flux, a minimum flux, and the rate of change is determined by the velocity of turn of the rotor here. So that's how you generate electricity 
according to uh, changing the amount of magnetic flux inside the triangle. Now, since we have three triangle, we have three phases of electricity coming out, A, B, and C. There are three ways to connect the six wires. There's a pair of wires coming out from each triangle. And we have the A1 wire that's going into the first triangle and A2 wire that's coming out of the first triangle. And so A1 will connect through the, uh, the wire to A uh, to uh, A2 and A2 connect to B1 and B1 connect to B2, B2 connect to C1 and then C1 connect back to uh, uh, C1 connect to C2 and C2 connect back to A1. That's called the delta mode. Now I would prefer to use the Y mode because that will generate more voltage. Uh, the way you connect here is that you have the A1 that we uh, would be connected to A2, A2 would be connected to neutral and B1 will be connected to neutral also through here, and C1 will be connected to C2, which is also the neutral. So this way, the voltage between A and B is uh, about almost twice the voltage between this uh, A and B when it's connected in a delta mode. So you produce more voltage in a Y mode, and that's what we prefer. Now this shows how you can connect the wire. So what you have here, is the A1 here is connected to A2, coming like this, A1 connected to A2, and A2 is connected to B1, and B1 go through here, will be connected to B2, and B2 is connected to C1, and C1 it then goes to C2, and C2 go back to A1. So the phase A is here, the phase B is here, and the phase C is here. This is the delta mode, which is not as efficient in generating voltage than the star mode. Now the star mode will have the A1 going through here and connect to A2, and A2 would be the phase A, because A1, B1, and C1 are all connected to the neutral part. So the, the three phase power source, phase A is here, phase B is here, and phase C is here. Now that I've shown you the polygon electric generator, I would like to tell you a little bit more about how I came to invent that. About 10 years ago, I was very keen to turn solar energy into electricity. I didn't like solar panels. They are very big, very heavy, and also they are very inefficient. So I figured the better way to turn solar energy into electricity is by means of first a gas turbine and second an electric generator. So I shopped for gas turbine as well as electric generator and I didn't like either one of them. So I invented both of them myself. So here you have my invention, another invention of mine, which is a solar man gas turbine. With this, I've shown you the solar man polygon electric generator or the solar man pack. Now, next time I'll show you how this works if you power the turbine by means of burning uh, uh, natural gas. And later I'll show you how I can use concentrated solar power to turn the gas turbine. All right, I hope you understand how to generate electricity by means of the polygon electric generator. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And please share with your friend as well as like this video if you learn something from it. And until next time, this is Solomon.